Hi y'all, welcome back to our channel. If you're new, welcome, welcome. I hope you'll enjoy your time with us and want to subscribe. We're a natural healing or holistic healing channel that does box on openings to help us with our spiritual, mental, emotional, physical growth, um, as well as rituals and ceremonies, crystal grids, sound healing, meditation, any topic that would be covered under that natural healing. I'm working on my natural path, so as I go through my curriculum, I'll be sharing some of the things that I'm learning with you. Today we're going to be opening the Wolf and Time box. And Wolf and Time is uh, one of the subscription boxes that Wolf and Time offers. And this box has five items in it for $28 a month or less if you prepay for more, more than one month at a time. All the subscription information and links will be in the video description below for you, as well as a discount code, KARMA15, for 15% 15 off anything on their website. I do want to take this time to thank Wolf and Time and Kat for sending me this box to review for you on my channel. I appreciate it so much. This truly is one of the most inspiring boxes that I get. And so I'm so excited to share it with you. But let's talk just a little bit about what we got in last month's box and review and give you any updates on any of the products. So in last month's box, we received the Willow Bark Herbal Kit um, that was from Apothecary at Home. They worked with one of my other boxes. And you know I'm moving to Colorado, so I have not had a chance to do that kit yet, but as soon as I get up to Colorado, I'll get that done and uh, may videotape that for the channel so that you can see. Now, the original watercolor that we received was the Willow and the Owl, and her artwork is so gorgeous. I'm so excited and going to dedicate a whole wall to my new house to Cat's art. Super excited about that. And then we got stickers. Um, we received Tumbled Premium Moss Agate, and that was absolutely gorgeous. Um, I've, I have worked with it some, and the energy of the stone is just beautiful. Um, we received the wooden mala beads, and you know I love malas, so, so, and that wooden mala was absolutely gorgeous. Then we received, let's see, Earth My Dearest book by Jackie Corley, and I have not had a chance to look through that. Matter of fact, it's probably going to go in my giveaway drawer so that one of you will be lucky enough to receive that book. It, it was a beautiful book, and uh, I just don't have a lot of time to read right now outside of my full time company that I own and run, my YouTube channel, my natural path studies, and so on and so forth. So when I'm reading, it's usually studying, and I don't have a whole lot of time to read extra stuff right now. So that was last month's box, and I'm so excited to see what is in this month's box. So as we open the box, turn that around a little bit. We have the cards and our print on top that I'll pull out and show to you as we go through the box. And then you've got your tissue paper there. And then everything else is down in the box there. So let's get started. First we have their little card and I, I love the wolf picture on their card. And this gives you, I'm gonna put it up there so you can see, that gives you their four boxes move it up there we go there are four boxes and the cost and you know that I actually get um, although I miss the Luna Lux box this month you do have to be careful if you go on their website because when you click on the Luna Lux and you order it um, you're just ordering a one-time box if you didn't go to their drop down and or choose the right box on there that says it's a monthly subscription. So last month when I ordered, I ordered only a single Luna Lux box, which I got, and then this month one didn't come, and I'm like, what? And I wrote Cat, and we figured it out, and so I have resubscribed to that for monthly, but I won't have it this month. The Wolf and Time box, which we're opening now, the Bone and Steel box, which I get, which is the quarterly men's box, although I get it for myself because it's Celtic and Viking related, which uh, I've been a group of the SCA, which is a nonprofit educational worldwide organization that recreates all the arts and sciences of the Middle Ages. And then the Artist Den, and that's their little monthly um, 
uh, it has artwork, grimoire pages, and more. And that's the only one that I do not receive from them. So, in our little letter, the first thing we have is our little letter. And the latter says, as magical souls, we put energy and intention into everything we do. With cooking and feasting, it's not any different. So I decided to have the theme of crafting cuisine for May in honor of the celebration of the coming summer. Whether you like to cook or have challenges in the kitchen, these items will help you connecting to your self-care you would need to nourish your body, soul, and mind. Oh my gosh, I am so excited because I'm moving. If we get stuff for the kitchen, this will all be for my new house and for my new kitchen. Yay! And then it has all the items on there that we're gonna be getting, and I'll read those as we go through the box. So let's start out with the gorgeous art print. Now in The Wolf and Time, you get a five by seven art print. That is gorgeous. And she does have on her channel, where you can go and watch her do the artwork in uh, on a video. I love butter. I'm assuming that's a butterfly. It's too pretty to be a moth, although some moths are pretty. That's really nice. So, original artwork, five by seven, watercolor print, the Luna Loft. And the Luna Loft, I think, is the name of the YouTube channel that you can go to in order to see it being the video of her doing it. Refiner's Fire is an original watercolor painting I did of the transformation process of a butterfly. There is a triangle element symbol for fire, the rune, J-E-R-A, again, and time sprigs growing up in the background. The butterfly represents transformation, immortality, and love. Its energy center is the crown, its element air, and the mineral is associated with strawberry quartz. As we transform ingredients in the kitchen into works of art, delicious cuisine, or simply a tea, we are creating elemental magic that brings about transformation into our own bodies and gives us a longer life and greater love for ourselves. Thyme is an herb that represents Venus, air, water, feminine energy, Aries, and Capricorn. That's me, Aries. It assists in helping you create purity, love, dreams, courage, strength, and healing, and is per a perfect herb to add to every dish. The elemental triangle represents fire, is symbolic of the ancient roots we have, with the first form of magic. We need fire to cook our food, to warm our bodies, and to light the dark nights. It is refining element that burns away the roughness we hold on to and leaves us with a golden light of hope and renewal. Special magic was made for the time-lapse video on YouTube creating the painting called Ritual by Bee in the Hive. Go to the channel, The Luna Loft, to see it come to life. And she's been adding the music from Bee in the Hive, which is a group, I think she's even in it, or it's her friends or something. And I've really been enjoying listening to that music while she's doing her painting. So it was a great addition, Kat. I love that you're adding music to your time-lapse paintings. Just beautiful. It's gonna go on my wall in my new house. All right. Next we have a bag, and this usually is some type of a, a ritual spell, and of course we know that because we're doing kitchen stuff, it will probably be kitchen related. So first thing in here, I don't know what it is, it's a bag of some type of herbs or resin or seeds or something. I think it's going to be, oh, I'll bet you it's got like orange pill and stuff like that. Ah, that's going to be yummy. I will read a little bit about it. And then it has a little tea light in here. And then it has the directions. So this says... Oh, kitchen cleanse ritual, nice. So this is a packet of mulling spices, an orange peel, a tea light candle, and a pot with water, and one bay leaf. 
and it's having you add the water into a pot um, to write your intention on the bay leaf, add it to the pot, and then pour in the mulling spices. And then it has you say, with these spices I cleanse my space. Negativity will be erased. Add light and creative glow and nourishment to help me grow. Beautiful, beautiful. And then gives you the directions on how to complete that kitchen cleanse ritual. And because someone else has just moved out and I'm moving in, what a perfect time to do a kitchen ritual cleanse. Um, and I'm going to put on my glasses so I can read this a little bit more smoothly. I don't do very well when... All right. Kitchen cleansing ritual kit. In the little pouch, you will find organic mold spices and orange peel, a tea light, a bay leaf, and a ritual scroll. Oh, I don't think there's a bay leaf in mine. There's no bay leaf in mine. But I have a bay leaf. I can find one or I can get one, which is not a problem. But my bay leaf is missing. I have no doubt if I contacted Kat, she would have, they would happily send me another bay leaf. But I'm not going to do that because I can get a bay leaf easily enough and not have to bother them with a bunch of money for shipping for one little bay leaf. That would not be very sustainable and um, um, earth conscious of me. So I didn't get the bay leaf, but that's not a problem. Where are we? Uh, a bay leaf and a ritual scroll. These are the items needed to perform a special ritual to cleanse out your kitchen of negative energy and fill it back up again with light and creative flow that will help you spice up your kitchen and your space. This is one of my favorite scents and it always lightens up the energy and makes my home feel cozy. Mulling spices smell so good when you do them. So I will be doing this up at my new house. All right. What do we have next? I see this little bowl. I think it was wrapped in here. Um, it kind of came out a little bit, but it's still in perfect condition. Beautiful, looks hand painted. Hand painted sauce dish. This little dish is used to add your special sauces to spices, oils, or to rest your spoon on. I have hand painted it with a special ceramic pigment and have added both the crescent moon and the rune, J-E-R-A, which stands for harvest, reward, and abundance. Each time it is used, you can think of those words and how they can connect with what you put in it to enhance what you are eating. The crescent moon reminds us that each with each phase we are growing and waning, and so is our relationship with food. It doesn't have to be perfect or always super magical. Just add a little bit of you into it and savor the moment. Please hand wash. That's beautiful. And I will, I may just, uh, I may even keep this for the medieval evil organization that I'm in. I do myolica, and so I have a bunch of these, but this is really nice. These are great for little salt and pepper trays. And you just put your salt on it and then grab it out. Because um, in the Middle Ages, they didn't have salt and pepper shakers like we have. This was what they would use. That is absolutely gorgeous. I'm excited to use it. Okay, what's next? All right. Here we have something tied up with a little fuzzy faux fur. I know she always uses faux fur. Um, let me see if I can get this off without breaking the little faux fur and then I can work on untying it later so that I can use it. Um, on one of the, her boxes, they did a home protection piece. And um, I, when I get up to Colorado, I'm gonna be making that piece for the new home. So I can probably use that. So this, oh, so it's a dish towel. Very pretty. Let's see if I can get it up closer where you can kind of see. It's like a shiny silver, and this looks like either the uh, the moon or the earth. I guess you could take it to be either. Really pretty though. Um, it is a little bit um, 
you know, hard right now because of them painting it. But usually with fabric paints and stuff, as you wash that, it will get softer. That's beautiful. So let's see, what does it say? Hand-painted kitchen towel. Your hand-painted towel is unique in that there were four designs honoring the moon and several colors that were used. Each one was created by myself and have intentional energy infused into them. They have been heat treated and washed with eco-friendly soap that's allergy free. Every time you dry your hands on it, I hope that you remember that your hands are special tools that create magic, that feed your soul emotionally and physically. You can also drape it over your bread basket to keep it warm and protected, or over a fresh pie, or as a ceremonial cloth for your kitchen altar. And it is 100% cotton. Yay, another dish towel for my new house. And a magical dish towel at that. That is beautiful. Okay, we have one more bag. Oh, can't see me. <laughs> we have one more bag. Here's our little bag. Ooh, so this looks like a hematoid quartz. Look how beautiful that is. Absolutely gorgeous. And a nice size palm stone. Look at that. So pretty. Has great energy to it too. Premium fire quartz palm stone. Fire quartz or hematite quartz is made up of a tri, trigon, trigonal, trigonal composition of hematite. G go. Ooh, boy. Hematite. Gothite, G-O-E-T-H-I-T-E, -E, sorry, and limonite inclusions. It varies in color from brown, yellow, or premium red. It supports both the root and the crown chakras, but the combination balances the body, mind, and spirit and brings unique clarity to your emotions. It helps you with self-worth and self-esteem, which also helps you understand your eating habits and how to look at your body with nutrition. It also enhances focus and concentration and grounds you, especially if you get easily distracted. It can also support you with calming anxieties, panic, and fear. So if you're in the kitchen, remember to bring it along to keep you focused on the meal, calm your mind while cooking, and bring you confidence that you are creating something magical. In great love and respect to your magical soul, Kat. Um, this letter is written on seeded paper and so each month it says to plant your seeded paper simply soak it in water then spread it out on soil covering it about an eighth of an inch um, covering it about an eighth of an inch and then keep most uh, keep moist daily Woo! can't talk today next month's theme june is ocean creation water energy and creative inspiration <gasps> Yay. Elemental magic is some of my very favorite types of magic and I often use it. I love doing water bottles and fire uh, rituals, bottle spells with water and fire. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm excited for next month, but I'm excited for every month. This is such a great box. So in this month's box, we received the hand-painted kitchen towel the hand-painted sauce dish, the kitchen cleansing ritual kit, the original artwork 5x7 of the refiner's fire, which was that beautiful butterfly, and the premium fire quartz palm stone. Absolutely amazing box this month. I can't wait to get up there into my new kitchen and put all these magical items out and then start to do videos for you. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already, please remember to hit that subscribe and hit that bell and go up to the top to tell it to notify you when a new video comes out. Please remember to write a comment because that's how I get to know you and I'm enjoying so much getting to know so many of you. It really brings a personal touch when I can record a video and know 
you know, five or 10 people that I've just had a conversation with in the comments and know that I'm talking to all of you that are out there and not just some square box camera. Have an amazing day. And remember, come back often to the channel where you can say, karma's my friend. Bye y'all. And um, all of the other, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Just cut that all out.